uptake and transport of mineral nutrients. Plants obtain carbon and O2 from atmosphere. Their nutritional requirements are obtained from minerals and water for hydrogen from the soil. The whole process can be linked to a person. Transpiration pull. Pulling a bucket full of water stresses on the water column. With a steel rope, unbroken and continuous water column with a strong cohesive force. Uptake of mineral ions. All minerals cannot be passively absorbed by the roots. This is due to the following reasons. 1. Minerals are present in the soil as charged ions which cannot move across cell membranes. 2. The concentration of minerals in the soil is usually lower than the concentration of minerals in the root. So, most minerals must enter the root by active absorption into the cytoplasm of epidermal cells. This needs energy in the form of ATP. The active uptake of ions is partly responsible for water potential gradient in roots and therefore for the uptake of water by osmosis. Some ions also move into the epidermal cells passively. Ions are absorbed from the soil by both passive and active transport. Specific proteins in the membrane of root hair cells actively pump ions from the soil into the cytoplasm of the epidermal cells. The endodermal cells may have transport proteins embedded in the plasma membrane. Transport of mineral ions. After the ions have reached xylem through active or passive uptake, both their further transport up the stem to all parts of the plant is through transpiration stream. The chief sinks for mineral elements are growing regions of the plant, apical and lateral meristems, young leaves, developing flowers, fruits, seeds and the storage organs. Unloading of mineral ions takes place at the fine vein endings through diffusion and active uptake by these cells. Mineral ions are remobilized from older sensing parts. Older leaves export their mineral content to younger leaves. In deciduous plants, minerals move the other parts before leaf fall. Readily mobilized elements are phosphorus, sulfur, nitrogen and potassium. Elements that are structural components like calcium are not remobilized. Analysis of xylem exudates reveal that though some nitrogen travels as inorganic iron, much of it is carried in the organic form as amino acids and related compounds. Small amounts of phosphorus and sulfur are carried as organic compounds. Small amount of exchange of materials take place between xylem and phloem.